we know that the whole country, Kenya, is in a state of mourning. For up following the untimely and tragic demise of General Francis Ogola. Ugunja MPO Pio Wendai has retaliated ODM boss Railo Dinga's call for thorough transparent investigations into the death of Chief of Defense Forces Francis Ogola. Wendai said if need be, agencies like the FBI or any other recognized foreign entity should be invited to assist local authorities to probe the cause of the fatal crash. Ogola died on Thursday afternoon following a tragic chopper crash in Elgeyo Marakwet County which also claimed the lives of nine other military officers at Sindar area. Ogola became the shortest serving CDF having been in office for slightly under one year. The National Assembly Minority Leader said they know the entire country is in mourning but the state of mourning is more pronounced in Luoland as the community is most aggravated by Ogola's passing. While emphasizing the need for transparent and thorough investigations, Wandai said the Luo community has lost many sons over the years but no answers were given. Wandai was speaking on Friday in Kisumu during the launch of ODM party membership recruitment drive in Mamboleo Kajulu ward within Kisumu. Sumu East constituency. He was accompanied by other leaders, delegates and supporters in the driver. The minority leader reiterated the importance of strengthening the party at the grassroots level. He also urged young Kenyans to join the ODM party and play their role in shaping the destiny of the nation. <laughs> Orono se wacho ni wan kaka joluo wan ki kuyo mapeka enya kendo ma yena uru awas ke kesungu matin we know that the whole country Kenya is in a state of mourning for up following the untimely and tragic demise of general Francis Ogola but one thing that has to be said loud and clear is that we, we, we the Luo community, we the Luo nation, are in, are the most aggrieved under the circumstances. That the state of mourning is more pronounced in the Luo nation. For the reason that we as the Luo people, we have lost our sons, many sons in the past, and we have not been able to get answers. We have not been able to get answers. And therefore, we demand, we demand that over and above the fact that Ogola was a Kenyan general, Ogola was our son. And therefore, we demand that thorough, independent, and expeditious investigations are undertaken to unearth what caused the death of General Ogola and his colleagues. And if there was a hand behind it, we want that hand exposed. And if possible, if these investigations cannot be, in the, cannot be undertaken by local agencies, we shall demand that we bring in FBI or other recognized agencies from outside Kenya. To gima duga inya, to maro golani. Paro mamana to marja luo machelo mane enje madar. Elwe marjo Uganda. Miluongo ni miluongo ni Major General David Oite Ojo. In the year 1983. And to be exact, on the 2nd December 1983, Major General David Oite Ojo, the commander of the Uganda Liberation Movement, was killed in similar circumstances as the, under which Ogola died yesterday. Oite Ojo died in the Luero Triangle in Uganda in, a, in an helicopter crash whose cause we have not been able to know up to today. And therefore, as the people of the Luo, we are within our right to demand justice, not only to Ogola family, 
but to the Luo people in general. Mane gimatuo kanya kena wachka kawono. Nito maro gola okbidi kamano. Nyaka jogo nyizuan tamuon mane gogola. Toke ndo tabia marjo luoto aoya eni koranya karu okamano. E wash marja luoto atoya aoya eni. E circumstances boku angeyo koranya karu. Agama meyo, agama meyo. Kaja luo yande for the first time in 60 years since independence. E kaja luo obedo chief of the defense forces. To okoti kata manafo wani ya. Nipa mitwe shabiri ya boro. Toto. Opo nyali ngeyo gimoke. Mano wa kuongo kendo wa kwede yo kamamari. Yo kisumu is. Adikuwa mwa kwedo wash marto maro gola. Tokati yeko.